Well, it looks like the plan isn't going according to plan after all, but it's a good thing that Armin was able to step aside, go right towards Aaron, and basically tell him to get off his lazy titan ass and go and help humanity because he's their only hope right now. How's it going, guys? So this is my episode review of episode 12 of Attack on Titan. Now, this episode basically deals with the fact that once Aaron transforms into his titan form, he's unable to control it. He doesn't have any control over his body. He seems to be just like all the other titans where he actually turns around in like last episode's cliffhanger and goes to punch Mikasa. But in this episode, we find out that Mikasa was able to dodge it. She only walks away with a minor scrape across her cheek, right under her eye. And you know, while she's dodging all the punches that Aaron is doing, and he, he ends up like destroying his hands, they have to regenerate. And it's this, this gives the moment for Mikasa to basically go onto uh, Aaron like on his titan head and basically look him dead in the eye like this and basically tell him it's like Aaron what are you doing it's me Mikasa and as his arm is regenerating he's about to go punch basically Mikasa right off his face the squad commander in charge of the squad that was leading Aaron towards the boulder basically tells Mikasa to dodge she dodges Aaron punches himself right square in the face and he falls flat on his ass right next to the boulder and he's basically left there and the whole squad is basically looking at him it's like shit we, we just failed the mission so the uh, girl a part of the squad I don't remember her name right now, but she takes the flare, get, grabs the red flare, throws it up in the air, and the red smoke basically tells everyone that the plan is now failed. They're moving on to another plan, and they just have to basically work with what they got right now at the moment. And Armin sees this off in the distance while, with everyone else basically like looking on like, I can't believe they failed. Armin drops everything and books it over towards his friends because he's like, uh, we're not failing this mission. He's going to go save the day, and I love what he does in this episode. So what ends up happening is they develop a new plan around the situation since Aaron is unable to control his Titan form at the moment. So the new plan plan for them is to basically control the situation, get rid of all the titans within the surrounding area around Aaron, and to make sure that he recuperates, he regenerates, and hopefully gains control of this titan form because they've exhausted all options at this point. Aaron is the sole hope that they all have to basically seal that hole in the wall with that boulder, and Aaron is the only person, only titan formed person, that could do that. And to utilize his power will basically come as a great advantage so telling everyone within the squad about this new plan a lot of people are hesitant about it a lot of people are just like why are we just relying on this kid to basically help us out and like win this battle but eventually they all come to their senses they realize that this is the only plan that they actually could go forward with and everyone goes out and goes to like you know fight the titans that are uh, closing in on Aaron and I love the moment when like the commander in charge of this squad looks over at Mikasa and is basically telling him it's like just make sure that like Aaron gets up and it's like go and protect your boy Friend. I love when she blushes. It's just a good moment. She just like, no, he's family. But you can tell that there is some type of relationship there. No matter how many people try to deny it or they, whatever they show within this series, it seems to be that there is some type of relationship between Mikasa and Aaron, however they want to pursue it. But I just really, really like that moment. But we also get to see why Aaron is acting the way he is. And we actually get to see what he's kind of like feeling and seeing within the Titan form. We get to look, delve into the nape of the neck, seeing where he is within this Titan. And he's actually in a daydream in a way. He's He's actually in the, like this hallucination to where he's actually at home with his dad, his mom, and Mikasa. He's back in his younger days. He's back when we first in got introduced to him in the series, and he's basically in this warm blanket. He's basically, you know, enclosed. He feels safe. He feels warm, and he doesn't want to do anything. So that is basically why, and I don't really know why this is actually happening within the Titan form. There's not really much explanation as to why this is happening to Aaron, but it's just basically to show that he's in this dazed state. He's hallucinating, and it's such a perfect dream for him that he doesn't want to leave it. So Mikasa and everyone are basically battling off the Titans and eventually Armin shows up at the scene and is basically looking at Mikasa as he's standing on top of Aaron is like, what the hell just happened? And Mikasa gives him the rundown of what the whole situation is. And this is when Armin, being the smart character that he is, knows exactly what to do. He uses his 3D maneuver gear to anchor himself onto Aaron. And since, you know, Aaron came out of the Titan out of the nape of the neck earlier in the past few episodes, he realizes, well, if I just stab him, not dead center, but a little off to where it just nicks him, I can actually maybe knock some sense to him, get him awoken from this sleeping state that he's in, and hopefully have him re-control re this Titan form and actually help out humanity move this giant ass boulder and block up the wall. So I really like this moment too, because as soon as he stabs down, it nicks Aaron, Aaron's arm, and this is when he kind of goes crazy and he's like talking to Aaron 
basically telling him, it's just like, Aaron, what are you doing? You're, you're our last hope. What about like, you know, fighting these Titans? What about like, they killed your mom? I thought you hated these Titans. He's trying to knock some sense to him and to knock him out of this daydream that he's in, but everything so far that he's doing just isn't really working because in this daydream, he sees his mom, he sees his dad, he sees Mikasa. It's a happy little life within this home. He's nice and warm in this blanket. So to him, Everything's hunky-dory at this point. So while Armin is actually trying to awake Aaron, we have all of our side characters on the other side of the wall trying to contain a section to where all the Titans are within one sector of Trost District. And this is where we have Connie, Annie, and John, you know, acting as we follow them through this episode, trying to lure these Titans into that sector. And as John is trying to protect Connie, because Connie almost got killed by a Titan, so uh, John was able to use his 3D maneuver gear and he was able to save Connie from certain death. But then as he trying to escape his 3d maneuver gear stops working and he has to basically run on, on his legs at this point he's just got to rely on running around in the middle of the streets the city and he's got to escape these titans on foot and he you know he ends up going into a building and he's like shit why does this have to happen to me right now but he looks off in the distance and he sees you know a fallen comrade crushed by a boulder or either eaten by a titan but he sees 3d maneuver gear on his person and he just basically looks at that he's like can i do this like can i steal that 3D maneuver gear, so that way I could just switch it out with mine and hopefully escape the hell that I'm currently in right now. And I just love the dire situation that John is in. I mean, I, I know that he's the type of character where it's, he's hit and miss. You know, he could either be a bad guy or a good guy, depending on your point of view. But I really like him as a character. And like in this moment, you're trying to, you're like hoping for him to, es to escape this situation and hopefully not get eaten by any Titans. But as we move away from that, we're left on a cliffhanger with that in this episode. But then we get right back to Armin yelling and talking Talking to Aaron, he eventually snaps him out of it because he's like, what about going outside? Wasn't it our dream to go outside to see oceans, deserts, lavas, like all these sorts of beautiful, amazing things that they have never seen in their world, but are so we're so accustomed to in our world. And this is what snaps Aaron out of his funk. He realizes like, what is your desire? And I love this moment because as he realizes that the world is his and his alone, like as a, as a human being, the world is his oyster in a way. And I love the moment where he realizes this snaps out of it and everything kind of like, lights on fire and everything and kind of like like it's a good uh, symbolism for him igniting his will and desire again you know against these titans his anger for the titans and i love that symbolism i'm not sure if even that is symbolism but that's what i get from that moment to where it just sparks fire everything basically disintegrates and it's his anger his will and desire to destroy these titans reignited once again and then we just have aaron's titan form basically screaming at the top of its lungs and that's all we're left with in this episode and i think like the last episode episode 13 coming up after this one is going to be like the final episode for this arc and I'm really looking forward to reviewing that episode because we're going to end the first half of you know Attack on Titan and then we're going to be moving on to the second half but overall I, I think this is a very good episode it's, it's nice to see Armin action being the one that's smart enough to figure out the whole situation and get Aaron out of his funk so what did you guys think about this episode leave your thoughts in the comments below about you know Aaron entering that dreamlike state what do you guys think about watching that episode for the first time and seeing Aaron in this type of situation and how do you feel about Armin having to be the one to wake him up but then besides you know Aaron Mikasa and Armin what about our side characters how do you feel about them you know still going forward with the plan to put all the Titans in a corner and and then Jean's predicament that he's in right now. How did you feel? Did you uh, were you scared for his life, knowing that he might die in the situation, or were you not even worried and you just didn't even care about his character? Again, leave your thoughts in the comments below and subscribe to my channel if you guys are catching me for the first time because I'm doing reviews on all Attack on Titan season one, and then at the end of this month, Attack on Titan season two is coming out April 1st, and I really, really can't wait for that. I'm gonna be doing reactions and reviews to the whole second season, and I hope you guys join me along with the ride, and we can just get like conversation started in the comments on just Attack on Titan in general. So I'm really looking forward to that, guys. Uh, my next episode, episode 13 review, will be out very shortly after this. I hope you enjoyed this review, and I just look forward to more Attack on Titan content. So that's it for this video, guys. And until my next video, I'll talk with you guys then. All right, guys, see you later.